The power of feedback, becoming a pillar in someone's presentation journey. Hello, language learners. Today we're diving into a topic that is not only crucial for your own development, but also for the growth of others around you. We're talking about giving feedback. Yes, it's a two-way street. We receive feedback to improve ourselves, and we give feedback to help others. We'll be focusing on how to support others in their presentation improvement journey. Let's dive right in. Feedback, as we all know, is a cornerstone of learning. In the context of public speaking and presentation skills, feedback serves as a mirror, reflecting our strengths and areas that need improvement. When we give feedback, we're helping others see this mirror and guiding them on the path to becoming more confident and proficient speakers. What makes feedback effective? Well, it should be constructive, specific, and balanced. 1. Constructive. We want to build up, not break down. Highlight what worked well and what can be improved, but always frame it in a way that encourages growth and development. 2. Specific. Saying, that was good, doesn't give much insight. Try to point out specific moments or techniques that worked well or could use enhancement. 3. Balanced. While it's important to point out areas for improvement, it's equally important to share what the person did well. Balance the positives with the negatives to provide a comprehensive view. When giving feedback, it's essential to be mindful of our approach. Here are a few methods you can use. 1. Sandwich method. Start with something positive, then share the area for improvement, and end with another positive. This helps keep the recipient open and receptive to your feedback. 2. Star method. Situation, task, action, result. This is a more structured approach where you outline the situation, the task that was being done, the action the presenter took, and the result of this action. Remember, it's not just about what you say but also how you say it. Your tone, expressions, and body language can greatly influence how your feedback is received. Giving feedback is not a one-time event. It's part of a continuous process of improvement. Follow up with the presenter, provide more insights if necessary, and celebrate their improvements. Your support in their journey makes the process less daunting and more enriching for them. And that wraps up our discussion on supporting others in their presentation improvement journey. Remember, giving feedback is not about critiquing but about helping others grow. It's an art that, when done correctly, can make a tremendous difference in someone's journey. Keep practicing, keep learning, and remember, we're in this together. Happy learning, everyone!